One of this year's highlight features is the increase from the 65mm equivalent telephoto to the 77mm equivalent telephoto seen here. Is this a big deal? Let's find out. While this is a great camera upgrade, there are two major downsides. The first is the extreme telephoto has issues at the long end with focus hunting and it's not very stable. And the change in focal length to 77 millimeters has made for a less effective 65 millimeter. And this should be considered when evaluating the new camera system. Let's dive into some examples. Here we are at Sydney's iconic Manly Beach. Let's start with the 12 Pro Max. As we zoom in, the image becomes more grainy as you'd expect because it's cropping into the sensor. Considering the focal length, the image is quite stable. Have a look at the quality. This is unedited, straight out of the camera. Let's look at another example now, zooming into the lifeguard board near the surf club. As you can see, it's quite stable and quite quick to focus. However, the lifeguard writing on the board appears quite soft in comparison to the 13 Pro Max. Now let's look at the 13 Pro Max. Initially, the wide image looks much sharper. As we zoom in, we see a sharper image, although it is far less stable than the 12 Pro Max. There are far more jitters in this picture. Again, we can see the sharpness in the corner of the bushes. And as we zoom in, we notice a lot more detail in the writing on the lifeguard board. With the 12 Pro, I noticed that it was much more stable. In addition, it was far faster to focus at the extreme telephoto in video. We can see the screen recording of the 12 Pro Max here. Have a look at the jitters and have a look at how fast it is acquiring focus. Now the 13 Pro Max, we can see that it's very jittery and it's quite difficult for it to obtain focus. This focus hunting issue is far more prevalent in photo mode at 12X. We can see from extreme close focus to far focus, it's very quick on the 12 Pro Max. Have a look, snaps right on. Whereas now on the 13 Pro Max, we can see a lot of focus hunting and jitters. Have a look how many times I have to tap in order to achieve focus. And again, from close focus to far focus, it takes a long time. This is unusual as you'd expect with the newer model, it would be faster. And so let's confirm these findings by repeating this test. Here's the 12 Pro Max again. And as you can see, from near to far, it's quite quick to focus. And now let's look at the 13 Pro Max. I believe that it hunts more because the telephoto lens has changed from an f2.4 aperture in the 12 Pro Max to an f2.8 in the 13 Pro Max. This consideration was made to increase the focal length of the lens and the trade-off is that it is now slower. The second trade-off is at the 65 millimeter equivalent focal length, the 12 Pro Max is much sharper because it has a native 65 millimeter lens inbuilt into the camera system. Whereas the 13 Pro Max struggles at the 65 millimeter equivalent focal length, the 13 Pro Max has a 77 millimeter telephoto lens. And so in order to achieve a 65 millimeter field of view, it needs to crop into the normal lens 2.5 times. This image degradation is seen as it is only sampling a small portion of the sensor. The footage looks far softer and less detailed than the 65 millimeter native footage of the 12 Pro Max. For the 65 millimeter focal length, the 12 
Pro Max offers a much better solution. However, even though the 13 Pro Max struggles to focus at the extreme telephoto end and is less effective at the 65mm focal length, I believe that the trade-off for a longer lens is more useful, allowing a greater variety of shots. Here is a sample at Manly Beach of the surfers. And another example of the surf club. It's pretty incredible that a phone can zoom this clearly.